Okay, so, yeah, today I'm going to be talking about Idubs, whose real name is Ian Carter. And, uh, of course he made a YouTube video the other day about, uh, sex workers, which means he's defending his girlfriend. And, and some people hate on him for that later earlier on Twitter when iDubbbz was practically trending for some reason. Some of his fans uh, didn't like when iDubbbz's girlfriend, whatever her name is, I'll put it on the screen as it, as it pops up, has chosen to make an OnlyFans and starts to do some sex work and apparently iDubbbz who is supportive of his girlfriend to do whatever the hell she wants gets backlash from some of his fans even some other commentary youtubers have uh, a say about this I won't name who but they know who they are. Some of them at least had a say about Idubbbz's girlfriend's choice of making money on OnlyFans. And I have a video for you right now to listen to. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Idubbbz Complains. This is a very special episode where I get to tackle two topics that I've recently become very passionate about. That is, a section of my audience who thinks they know me, and my opinion on sex work. You can sort of see where these two will collide. For those of you who are unaware of the drama I recently brought upon myself, I'll fill you in. My girlfriend started an OnlyFans account, which is a website where you can upload amateur porn. Anything from double penetration all the way over to lewd cosplay and everything in between. And uh, I think all of it is cool. Yeah, I know. I, I didn't think it would be a controversial opinion either. A good amount of people are just doing the reasonable thing and just making jokes and laughing about it. But there's a whole nother group of people who feel personally devastated and betrayed. You lied to us. Uh, first of all, I'm not your fucking dad. Like, if you don't want to look up to me anymore, that's fine. I don't want you to look up to me. First up, we got Edward. He probably got told by a lot of people that he looks like Idubs, And he really liked that because Idubs was cool. But now that Idubs is a simp, now he's going to go in full baby Wawa mode. No, shut the fuck up, you dumb fuck. You don't get to ha-ha funny yourself out of this one. You're a simp. You act all edgy and cool on YouTube and then go and film your girlfriend shoving anal beads up her ass for OnlyFans afterwards? Fuck you. You lied to everyone. You ruined my life. Oh, looks like I did something a little too edgy. Edward, I don't know where you got the idea that I was cool. Do you think it was cool when I, when I was playing with anal beads? It's cool when I play with anal beads. Do you think it was cool when I was running around in an oversized cop outfit? That was cool to you. It's because he's a hypocrite. He makes content cop and targets people, but he himself have girlfriend whoring herself, and he does nothing about it. What am I going to do? Do you think I should just, like, take a shotgun to her head? No, bitch. It's time to die now. No, items you should break up with her. But I'm cool with it. You do realize there are guys out there in private right now jacking off to your girlfriend. But I guess it's out of sight, out of mind. It's not a problem. Yeah, see, I don't understand why some fans want to ruin somebody else's relationship. I mean, Idubs and his girlfriend are perfect for each other. Come the fuck on, people. Come the fuck on. Why would you want... Idubs to break up with his own girlfriend that he has fallen in love for the past three or four or five years or even longer. 
I mean, come on. Don't you people have anything better to do than to necessarily try to break up, try to break him up, break him and his girlfriend up? I mean, seriously. Problem. You think these fucking retards would actually do a smidgen of research? Because, like, I did it, and I found the potential hypocrisies in, in what I say in the past, and it's it's pretty fucking consistent. The funding for the slut shirt is actually very, very low. Skanktown. Skanktown, USA. Softcore porn all over the walls. Pretty nice, huh? You know, like, I'm not saying that women should be sexualized or shouldn't be. I'm just saying that there is the market for it, so it makes sense that they would do it. I would say skank and slut, but never was that part of my argument. It's just flavor. It's just flavor. Like, in the future, I'll probably say slut and skank again. I don't know why everyone thinks that, like, I, I made a, a stand. I stood on top of a hill, and I proclaimed to all my uh, loyal Christian followers, no porn shall ever cross my screen. No woman that I date shall ever lower her standards to the point of being half-naked. Let me have my hope, all right? I want to believe he's too intelligent for this. Intelligence has nothing to do with it, but I will say this. If you want to retain hope that I'm intelligent, uh, this is the most intelligent thing I've probably ever done, is, is revealing this side of me. That I'm okay with sex workers and girls being slutty. It has no bearing on my life whatsoever. And the sooner you realize that for yourself, the better. See, he's okay with it. He's okay with it. Because, number one, it's his life, not yours. Two, he has a pretty good relationship with his girlfriend, and three, he can have sex with her whenever he fucking wants. So I don't know why half of IUW stupid fans have to turn in against him for having a girlfriend who's just trying to be herself by being a lot more sexual than before. I mean, there's nothing wrong with sexuality. There's nothing wrong with being sexual online. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong. I wanted to talk more about all the shitty takes that people have, and this guy that we're gonna watch has pretty much listed all of what the arguments are for people who don't morally agree with the situation. So on the cons, we have everyone can see what he sees for a few dollars. What exactly do you think I'm seeing? Do you think she's shooting fireworks out of her pussy? Do you think she's screening the Matrix Reloaded down there? It's not a mystery. It's a pussy, dude. And then there's no special pussy. It doesn't become less valuable the more people see it. If that's the case, my body and my person is the most valueless thing on the planet. The internet is a forever archive, so there's no, uh, I uh, regret delete all button. That's not quite there. I don't know why this shitty point is being made. Uh, it's sort of like from 2003. By the way, the internet, it's a forever archive. Didn't know if you knew, but uh, when you upload something, it might stick around. This isn't done impulsively. Like, what, what do you think? Someone's just going to make an OnlyFans just on a whim? Didn't give it any thought. Just thought, maybe I'll sell my pussy online and see how it goes. And then future jobs, they might be a little bit harder to come by. I think this is one of the most important opinions to highlight because it really demonstrates a severe lack of real-world experience when you're saying that future jobs are going to be harder to come by because of an OnlyFans account. Like, if you think this affects your standing or your social credibility in getting jobs, you are so sadly mistaken. And I will also say, if you want a morally grandstand, one of the shittiest things that I think you can do morally is judging someone about what they did previously and not hiring them, even though they're qualified for the job. This is straight out of the playbook of the boomer who's decaying in his lazy boy, who, who wants to tell you... No, that ain't gonna work. 
no one's going to hire you looking like that. The bone through your nose? <laughs> yeah, forget it. Yeah, the stud going through your tongue? <laughs> no one wants sluts working for them. And the dyed hair? Don't get me started on the dyed hair and the tattoos. No one's going to hire you looking like that. Now, I did watch the autopsy a tozy video about this but the fact that he only brought out the pros and the cons that doesn't prove anything I mean sure to some extent for some people they think you might not be accepted at another job but but to iDubs um, that's kind of different, you know, and I have to agree with him on this one, actually, because for what it's worth, um, no matter what you do, you get a job, and even if you work from home, you can still be accepted to work from to work at another job that you'll be hired from I mean I don't think that you cannot get a job or be accepted at a job after you running resume that says like you are a sex worker which means that you only made money through your OnlyFans account. Like, pfft, please. I would, if I were to, to work on an OnlyFans account for a couple of years and then maybe, just maybe, then apply for another job. In the future, in like five years, um, I would definitely think that someone would hire me if I ever did an OnlyFans porn. Because, for what it's worth, OnlyFans makes you money. And when you make lots of money of OnlyFans, there's a higher chance that you might get a new job and be accepted into one. You may disagree with me that being a sex worker will not get you into a qualified job, but uh, have you not heard of uh, models before? Yeah, think about that for a second before you apply. In my head, there would be uh, so many other things to do and make money before stooping to this point. I find it very fascinating that a uh, commentary YouTuber who's known for criticizing others, much like me, would be willing to take the position that sex work is beneath them, uh, that they aren't on the same level as sex work. That's fascinating. I find it really interesting that, that is the, uh, that's the position you want to take. That, I think that'll age quite nicely. You can add extra money as well, which, I mean, I don't know if it's really needed in that household, considering the dude will pull like 3 million views off of reviewing peanuts, but, um, okay. Sounds like someone's a little bit salty. You do realize that if your partner is making a lot of money and is very wealthy, that doesn't automatically make you feel fulfilled in the relationship or feel like you're contributing enough. Because based on your argument, then... I guess Jeff Bezos' son just should never work at McDonald's. There's enough money in the family. I think there's enough money in that household. No reason Philip Bezos needs to go on OnlyFans. Doesn't need to lower himself to that standard. The world would be a much better place if people like Philip Bezos, I don't know if that's his son's actual name, but if Philip Bezos did OnlyFans, that would be a perfectly fine thing to do. I think what I've learned from this experience is when you're speaking to a large group of people and uh, there's some dudes in the back sh shouting out their opinions like, I fucking hate thoughts. I hate whores. Women who sell their body online fucking suck. That's the worst. 
instead of ignoring that and just moving on with my lecture, it might be a better idea to point those people out and say, yeah, I actually don't agree with that shitty opinion. Um, because it, it seems like me just ignoring it has led to uh, like a cultivation of a bunch of retards. That pretty much wraps up this video. I love my girlfriend, and I'm totally fine with dudes jacking off to pictures of her on the internet. Doesn't affect me one way or the other. If you are upset by me admitting this, then uh, I suggest you go idolize someone else. Someone who isn't a simp or a cuck. Someone who maybe just gives shitty opinions instead. I kind of agree the write ups all the way to the end there because if you have a shitty opinion about whatever I dubs and his girlfriend are doing, well, your shitty opinion isn't going to cover it. As I said a couple minutes earlier, without actual proof, you you don't have a valid opinion or a valid point to make. Giving the pros and the cons of how of how you're supposed to get a job one day yeah, that's not gonna work, buddy. Not gonna work. No. I mean, come on. Why do you people go on Twitter and be become against idubs like that that guy from earlier? I mean, seriously, you people have to fix your minds a little bit and understand that whatever idubs wants his girlfriend to do to do he's okay with he's okay with it because he's not gonna like go and say to her face that he doesn't want her to start an early only fans and make money for for being a sex worker I mean come on I dubs loves sex workers he supports sex workers, and he's okay with sex workers. Is that any of your business? No. So why comment on that in the first place? Why comment on that? It's not your business. Leave it alone. Let it go. How hard is it for you people to, to do exactly that? How hard is it? Because I know that it's not hard. It's not hard to let things like this go. <laughs> but apparently, people can't help it. They just think it's wrong for Idups' girlfriend to make money on OnlyFans. Sometimes, I don't think anyone that I ever watched on YouTube is this smart, but only this dumb. You get my saying because I brought up Patrick in this video? It means you're dumb. So, if you want to continue to be dumb like Patrick, Fine, go ahead. Continue to be dumb like Patrick, right here. But if you want to be smarter, like Jimmy Neutron, then do yourself a favor and use your common sense and turn 
your brain on to make sure your common sense stays that way. Because, again, whatever I dubs wants his girlfriend to do for her, he wants to be happy for her doing whatever she needs to do. It's not for you or anyone else to decide on what his girlfriend should in or shouldn't do. Okay? It's not for you to decide any of that. And plus, wasn't she the one that came at Leafy a long time ago asking her for 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 her love and consent. I mean seriously guys, seriously. At times like this I think being a simp should be left in the year 2019, okay? Being a simp is from 2019, not 2020. 2020 is not the year of simp. 2019 is the year of simp. And it will remain that way only. 2020 is just a year of a new, bright, shining era. That's it. That's what 2020 is. And may I also ask, before this video ends, if you're gonna keep coming at pretty woman's boobs, then why come, then why go there in the, in the first place and practically complain about it which will make you a simp if you talk about this girl. On Twitter. I mean, come on. If you talk about this girl on Twitter, you're technically a simp. If you come to see her for her boobs, then why are you a simp? Why do you fall for that instead of just walking away? Oh, wait, I know why. You're too dumb to do that. You're too dumb to walk away. So, the best option you can do is to ultimately get, get the video that you're seeing and probably uh, call this person out, or this person out, for being a simp. And by the way, if you don't know what this word simp means, I'll read you the definition now. A man that puts too much value on a female for no reason. A man who puts the hoes before the bros. Someone who will say anything to please someone, particularly a girl, in the hopes that they will be in good favor with that person. Someone who does way too much for a person they like. Again, I know what some of you are going to tell me. Ricky, you're simp, you're simp, you're simp. No, I don't have a girlfriend, so huh? So I. So how can I be a simp, huh? When it's okay for you to understand that people are people and they can do whatever the hell they want to do with their own lives. Dating is not being a simp. If you're dating a girl, you're not a simp. Okay? If you're dating somebody for years, you're not a simp at all. Alright? Stop being afraid of a stupid girl be just because you're 
you're single and home alone all day with no girlfriends to be around with to make you feel loved and such. I mean, if you if you're gonna go to Twitter every time and look at boobies such as this video and this video, then you're a bumbling idiot for thinking that you can just, I don't know, see this video after everyone else sees it and then talk about it on YouTube here. Do you see what I'm saying? I hope you do, because looking at a girl does not make you a simp. Okay? Looking at a girl can only make you, you know, one day you'll focus on, on being the right girl for you. And one day, when that, when that one girl for you is the right girl for you, becomes your forever lover, you'll have, you'll have to one day marry her and do or don't have kids one way or the other. Some married couples don't have kids when they were when they're married. And some married couples do have kids when they were married. But if you want to be single for the rest of your life, fine. But don't call out on others and call them a simp when they're technically not a simp. Just because they have they have the love of their life, and you don't. You're gonna call them simp for no reason. Like, really? Come on. This isn't the two thousand, the early two thousands anymore. We're far, very away from that now. The early two thousands was the, was a time where everyone says cooties. This is not cootie veil anymore. Okay, so it's time to pack up your bags, shut the fuck up, and move on. This is 2020 now. Okay, no one cares about the about simping. Simping doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're simping on your dick. It doesn't matter if you're simping on your pussy. It doesn't matter if you're simping in on your on your friend's ass. Okay? It doesn't matter at all. Oh, and one more thing. Hey, items. Can you please get rid of your pedo stash? I don't think that pedo stash looks good on you. You had that for a couple months now, and ugh. Please shave that off already.